السلام عليكم. First, I want to say that this is my first time in Texas. And I feel so welcomed with uh, such a warm reception. I actually left a blizzard in D.C., so whatever life back home is under two feet of snow, and all we have here is sunshine and light. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to talk to you twice tonight. Uh, my initial remarks now are, are briefer, and then I'm going to expand on these points later in the evening. What I really want to discuss, though, is this concept of justice. When I was asked to speak at this forum, the reason for me that it was an immediate yes is because this is an organization that exists as an investment in justice. I work in an organization that works on research, and I think that's a worthy cause. But I can't think of a more urgent need today than the need of justice. So when you're thinking about what you want to support, what you want to invest your time, your resources in. Think about this central concept of justice. When someone is falsely accused, or falsely arrested, or falsely fired from their job, for no other reason than because of what they believe. Not only is that a violation of justice, but it is a threat to everything that this country is supposed to be about. When we invest in justice, we are not only protecting American Muslims, or Muslims in general. I actually believe that this effort and this organization will go down in history, especially at this time, as an institution that was protecting American democracy. Right. Because these kinds of cases and this kind of rhetoric that makes these kinds of cases possible is not just a threat to one group. This is really a fact, and I will tell you more about why I say that. The kinds of things that we are trying to defend here tonight are a threat to every single American because they violate the very foundation of democracy. The right to a fair trial, the right to actually get justice, is at the core of what this country is supposed to be about. And what the Muslim Legal Fund of America does is it invests in this idea. And it doesn't just do it locally. It's, in fact, the only organization that does this on a national level. One of my principles in anything I do is to avoid duplication of good work. When I hear about an organization that's doing something exactly like another organization, I beg them to just work together. Because it's a waste of our resources when we duplicate good work. In my own research, before I even start a project, I actually survey the country to find out who else is working in this space. I have a conversation with them over the phone to make sure that if we do a project that it's not an overlap. We are filling a gap because there is too much of a need in our community and too few resources to waste time and money. And what is so heartening about this organization is it is so unique. It fills a very important niche. Because I ask this question, how are you different from the other organizations that seem to be doing similar work? And I got a great answer. There, is, there has been this strategic thought process about how to fill a gap, not duplicate good work, because we just don't have time to be competing against each other. 
Our competition is injustice. That's what we're against. We're not against each other. We have no time for anything but fierce mutual support and love amongst each other at this time. And what this organization does is it fills an important gap. The other thing that inspires me about the Muslim Legal Fund of America is their dedication to excellence. When I heard about the kind of people and the caliber of the defense that they have brought on, the professionals that they have brought on for their legal center, which you'll hear more about, I was floored. Because when you're doing God's work, you have to find the best and the brightest to, to partner with. It can't just be mediocre work. So when you invest in justice, invest with people who are unique in what they do, not duplicating good work, and have found the best ways to help the community and have invested in that top caliber work. Because then you know what you are investing in, what you are putting your hard earned resources in, is, go is going exactly to where it should go. It's helping the right people in the right way with the best, the best resources possible. So I hope that today we will, we will end this gathering in a way where we are all successful. Because I believe this is really truly an opportunity, an opportunity to invest in both excellence and in justice. And I look forward to talking to you again in just a few minutes. Thank you.